you guys welcome to your bi-weekly love reading this is for um i forgot where it was aquarius sun moon and rising for the weeks of march 2nd through the 16th 2020 so i want to thank you guys for liking sharing and subscribing to my channel i ask that you all please continue to do so remember these are general so they may or may not resonate but hopefully they give you some clarity if you want to book your personal reading you can email me that information is in a description box. Uh, payments are collected on Fridays, orders and payments. Um, if you want to reach me by phone, that is a separate process. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you can get the notifications when I'm taking live calls. So let's go ahead and get started here. We have the central issue, heart of the matter, as the two of wands. We have the fool. We have the seven of cups. We have the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Tower, Seven of Wands, and Temperance. Um, okay, so I feel like someone is in love. Someone is so in love that they're getting ready to take some sort of big risk without even thinking um, I'm thinking about that old, uh, song where she's like, I'll put a spell on you. Ah! I just kind of feel like someone feels like they have a spell on them. Um, and they're like, what is this voodoo? <laughs> like, so it's someone is, has lost all senses and has decided to just do it, just do something just allow it to happen. Um, I feel like someone's very motivated or inspired. Um, I feel like some sort of plans are already in place. I feel like the plans were kind of rushed though. I feel like someone did not want to think it out thoroughly. Someone was like, I don't care, I don't care, shut up. I'm just doing this. I, I, I'm, I, I just want to do it. Let me do it. Um, now, I also feel that whatever has been confusing or whatever seemed unrealistic, someone is letting go of that and feeling like, no, I'm, I'm enough of that uh, illusion or the fantasies. I want something real. I want something I can feel, touch, taste. And I feel like that's what is also inspiring you to go after your dreams or that's what's causing someone to go towards you. Um, if anything has been a secret, I also feel like someone is tired of secrets. They're like, no more secrets. So there's definitely some sort of action being taken. You could be involved with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, could be any sign. Those are the ones that are standing out. Maybe Aquarius, another Aquarius. Either way, this is indicating someone with a fiery nature, someone who's being very passionate, very motivated, very driven, um, and they're going after what they want. <coughs> oh, bless me. Thank you. Um, and it also looks like someone has clarity about what they want. Mm, yeah, I feel like someone's been enlightened and they're definitely listening, to, listening to spirit and ju they're just going out on a new there. I feel like you're also looking at this as a new adventure. Something feels very fun or adventurous to you. Maybe this is new energy. I just feel like you're excited. You also may be very surprised at who's coming towards you or how this person comes towards you. Like this is something very unexpected. You might, someone might just come out swinging, like pursuing you hard. Um, or you, the pursuer, you just come out of nowhere and claim somebody. It's very surprising. 
something happens out of left field. I also feel that oddly there is some sort of weird telepathic energy between you and another person. So it's like you guys are tapped into each other's energies. You think about them, they call, um, or you feel some something. You can feel their energy some type of way. I always talk about like the heart palpitations. That's my number one connection with someone. Um, but you might have other things that happen to you that confirms that you're connected with someone's energy. I also feel like there is a need to heal or someone is entering your life because it's what you need right now. They, they're going to have like a healing quality, but it doesn't look one-sided. It looks like something will be a mutual exchange. You guys bring out healing energies from each other. Let me look at this tower. I mean, because it is starting to look like some sort of distance, maybe someone visits you out of the blue. like blockages are being destroyed too I see I see you defeating your enemies so I don't know if someone had put tried to put spell work on you or has been giving you the evil eye but I feel like something's broken like the spell is broken or um, whatever they were trying to do I feel like it didn't work So for some of you, it also could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you also might be very surprised, like I said, in how they approach you. It's like it happens out of nowhere. Yeah. I feel like someone had been holding back and at some point, they could not hold back anymore. Now, I also feel that if someone was trying to hide something from you or if someone was snooping, um, I feel that someone slips up. So be careful if it's you because I feel like someone could have been lurking or snooping and they get called out or they get exposed. And usually it's in a form of accidentally liking someone's picture Maybe you sent, uh, maybe you typed up a text message, it was in your drafts, um, but you had no intentions on sending it out. One day you accidentally send it out. Now the person knows how you feel. Um, and it makes me feel that the reason why this happened is because, well, I just feel like outside forces intervenes. Um, if you have been trying to avoid a love interest or they have been trying to avoid you, I feel like unseen forces kind of intervene and get things back on track. If you guys are meant to be together, I'm not talking about a relationship where it was toxic or it was time for you guys to move on from each other. It's more so about two people who are connected um, who are meant to be together, who are, who are supposed to work together maybe as healers. Um, and I just feel that if they were trying to, if you guys were trying to avoid each other, that spirit intervenes. Now I also see this as one of your followers who had maybe been following you, but under a, a false profile and I feel like it gets exposed. Yeah. A secret is going to get expo exposed. Just put it that way. Something also could be a setup. I heard setup. So I don't know if someone intentionally throws you under the bus or maybe it was for their own selfish intentions, but it backfired. 
So if someone was trying to ruin your love life, like I said, something backfires. Or be careful because if you were trying to ruin someone's love life, it's going to backfire. So you also could be involved with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm also seeing someone maybe have an emotional outburst or some sort of anxiety attack. Man, it's like the sun set really, really fast. Well, I hope you guys can still see. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe someone has an emotional outburst. Whoever you're dealing with, or if you're even if you're single and someone's coming into your life, I feel that this person is going to awaken your trust and abandonment issues. And after having some sort of initial crazy magnetic attraction towards this person, um, all the issues that you've been that you've buried deep are going to start resurfacing. Um, you might start thinking about the time your father abandoned you or your mother abandoned you or the arguments or w thinking about how you didn't get along with your parents or um, any type of past traumatic experiences, how you were bullied in school. Everybody called you fat. Everybody called you ugly. Everybody called you skinny. Like something happens that awakens this trauma not saying that the person is going to intentionally try to do that, but I just feel like something about your connection awakens past traumas and your first response may be to run or avoid this person because it actually looks like the emotions are so deep that it becomes overwhelming or scary and you might be wondering like, oh my God, what is this person in my life for? Like, why do I keep dreaming about them? Why do I keep feeling their energy? And speaking of feeling someone's energy, when I was saying that you guys may have some sort of tel telepathy between the two of you, but you also may be empaths with each other, um, meaning that you can feel their energy. So if they're going through something emotional and you find yourself getting angry out of nowhere or crying out of nowhere or experiencing something orgasmic out of nowhere, I feel like it's because you're tapped into their energy. Um, now you might just be, this also could awaken some sort of gift that's been suppressed within you, something that's been lying dormant. So if you had some sort of gift, especially an empath or a psychic, for whatever reason, the minute the two of you come together, it gets uh, awakened or it enhances or becomes stronger. But I think the both of you actually have some sort of spiritual gifts. And that's also part of the purpose of you guys coming together because by you guys having these gifts enhanced or awakened, you're going to be able to help other people. So the thing, though, is that something happens where... I, but I feel like you might get into your head or you might be paranoid thinking that someone's ignoring you when they're not or thinking someone doesn't love you when they do. Um, I feel like that part might be paranoia. Something happens where you start feeling rejected or maybe someone didn't respond fast enough to your message. Um, it's like you're reading it the wrong way. And you start having a pity party and saying, everybody did me like this. Everybody does this to me. Everybody wants to run away. Like something happens where you start beating yourself or blaming yourself for some things. But I really feel like you just need to have more patience. You also need to look at things from a higher perspective um, or view, view your life objectively as if it's, you know, 
from like you're looking at someone else's life. Look at speaking a third person because it helps. It's going to help you be patient. And something is going, something is happening. Something might be taking longer than you want it to happen, but this indicates that something is going to happen. Something is manifesting, but you just need to be patient. I also feel that you are going to be asking yourself, is something worth it? Does someone fit in? Is this the type of relationship? Is this the type of person that you want to be with? Um, I also feel that somebody might walk away from one situation because it looks like the grass is greener on the other side. Um, for some people it is, for some people it turns out not to be. And I feel like that might be a situation that you're in. You're like, I think the grass is greener on the other side. That's why, that's why maybe people are looking at you like you're crazy about something you're getting ready to do because you're in love or lost in an illusion. Um, and they're like, you're not thinking clearly and, but you're just like, I gotta do it. I gotta see if what I feel is real. And so you might end up walking away, maybe from a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, or someone is walking away from a water sign to be with you. And I feel like whoever does the, the leaving, whoever is exploring to see if it's really better, um, I think there's going to be like a reality check where you start feeling like maybe you made a mistake and start wondering, is it too late to turn around or go back? But I think you're being impatient with the situation or they're being impatient with the situation and there is a need to just kind of sit and wait to see how things turn out. Now, I also feel like somebody is ignoring you because they don't know how to process their feelings but they're still around. They're still watching you. And that might also be why you keep feeling someone's energy. It's because you're still linked to them. They're just not saying anything or they're waiting for the right time. Yeah, they're waiting for the right time. They're waiting for when it feels right. They don't they don't want to force anything. They want something to happen naturally. But yeah, they haven't gone anywhere. They're still kind of watching you. So those are the messages that I'm getting. Um, hopefully it resonates. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.